Hey guys, welcome back to my art life and for today's episode, meron na naman tayong bagong binili. Ito siya and bago ko ipakita sa inyo to, kaya niyo bang hulaan kung saan to nang galing? Kung nakalimutan niyo na, pag yung pambalot is may nakalagay na Van Gogh, isang store lang ang pinanggalingan nito malamang. At yan ay walang iba kundi ang Theo Fear. So tara, buksan na natin to para maipakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung item natin for today. So simulan natin dito sa maliit na package na to and these are... So these are um, watercolor brushes. Lahat sila day over brand. So meron tayong number 8 na sable brush. Number 10 na pony. Number 12 na pony. Saka number 4 na pony. Although hindi ito yung magiging review natin for today and uh, re-reviewin ko itong mga brushes nito some other time. Ito yung magiging review natin for today. Tada! These are Koinur watercolors. So kung makikita nyo, maliit lang siya pero it says here uh, 24 colors. Yun is because nakalayer siya and nag-interlock yung mga each layer niya tapos yun yung 24 color palette niya. Yung name pala nung um, product nila nito is Annie Linky. Medyo weird pero sige na. So, medyo mahirap buksan yung packaging. So, ito na siya. Kung makikita nyo, hindi naman siya ganun kalaki. 432 pesos, 24 colors. Okay na rin. Kung makikita nyo, um, okay naman yung sizes nung per pan niya. So, hindi ka rin naman lugi with the 439 pesos. So, each palette has 6 colors. Tapos, meron siyang mixing palette sa gitna. Or mixing well sa gitna. So, ito twist mo lang siya. Tapos, ito naman yung second set. Tapos, ganun din. Meron siyang mixing well sa gitna. Let's see yung third set. and uh, more on greens and blue and the last set is more on the grays and uh, black and white. So kung mapapansin nyo, yung each set niya has a theme. So ito puro whites, black and gray. Ito naman is more on the greens and the blue. Siguro um, kung magla-landscape ka, ito yung maganda gamitin. Ito naman are more on the yellows and the oranges. At ito is more on the purples and reds and magenta. So, maganda to for florals. Pati rin pala yung takip niya. Pwede mong gawing uh, mixing plate. May mga wells din siya. There are six wells. And tara, iswatch na natin to. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the Koinur Annan Linky. I got this watercolor set from Teofir for only 432 pesos. And this set comes in 24 colors. It also says in the packaging that it has brilliant colors, so we'll know if that's true in a bit. It also shows on the side of the packaging the disc system, which I think is so cool because I haven't seen any other watercolor set that looks like this. The set is very compact because of the disc system. It's so small that it fits right in your pocket. By the way, the top lid doubles as a mixing palette with six wells. Here, let me show you how the disc system works. Each disc has its own theme or color set. This one is more on yellow tones and orange. 
If you like making sunset illustrations, this will be perfect. Skin tones will be easy to make as well because this set has it all. Second disc are blues and reds. It even has magenta, which lets you create a wider range of colors. It is very seldom that I see a watercolor set with magenta included. Floral artworks or illustrations works best for this set. Disc 3 is more on greens and blues, and if you're the type who likes to draw skies, landscapes, or seascapes, this disc will be your best friend. Disc 4 is what I call a special disc. It has brown and sepia for that nostalgic feel, and then black for tipping tones of other colors, and here's another color that I don't get to see on other watercolor sets, gray. It also has a special color, which I'll show you later on. Now, this is the question I asked myself the first time I took a look at this set. Why are there two whites? They don't seem to be different in shade or tone. Well, let's discover this together on our swatching session, which is coming up next. Alright, so that's all the four discs of the Koinur Anilinki watercolor set. Now, let's get to swatching and let's see how brilliant these watercolors are as stated on the packaging earlier. Of course, we'll start with disc one. I'm as excited and curious as you are as to how this swatching will turn out. Will Analinky blow me away or will it disappoint and leave me regretting I spent 432 pesos on it? So far, I'm impressed. This set has exceeded my expectations. Analinky is a dye-based watercolor, so it is a transparent watercolor. It dissolves very quickly as soon as water touches the paints. It feels so fluid. The paints are so smooth and fluid, the only way I can describe it is that it feels like you're using watercolor inks. Another thing I notice is that the colors are deep, bold, and vibrant. So it is true what it says on the packaging. I'm glad that this product delivers as promised and the color payoff doesn't disappoint. In fact, the colors are so intense that most of the colors appear black or a very dark color on the palette. Another thing I notice is that, usually, when watercolors dry on paper, it loses 30 to 40% of its brilliance. Meaning to say, watercolors have intense colors when they are wet and they lose a bit of their brilliance and intensity when they dry. But that doesn't happen here with the Koinur Anilinki. The colors stay the same, whether the paint is dry or wet. Well, maybe because these paints have very little additives, that's why it gets to keep its brilliance. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The two whites and why are there two of them? In here, I labeled the black swatch box, disc 1 and disc 4, so we can see these two whites side by side. Although these are supposed to be transparent watercolors, I'm glad that it is still opaque in some level, as this white didn't have any trouble showing through the black background. But I noticed something very different with the white from disc 4. It doesn't seem to be just another normal white paint. I was amazed as the white from disc 4 is not really white. It's a sparkling silver color, wow! This is another color not common to most watercolor sets. I'm very much impressed and mind you, this is only 432 pesos and you get high quality brilliant paints and some more. This sparkling silver will be perfect for special effects and if you mix it with other colors, you can make pearlescent colors. So there you go and let's take a look at all of the discs side by side. Ha! Now, time for my favorite segment, the final verdict. This is where I sum up all the things I like about this product and the stuff that I don't. So let's start with a thumbs up. So thumbs up on the price point, 
because at 432 pesos, you get 24 brilliant half pan paints in a sturdy, thick plastic casing, which is very compact and portable and lets you create art on the go. I also love the disc system because they grouped certain colors together, which makes it easy for you to work and paint. The disc system also lets you bring the color set that you need or even share with others. I love this watercolor set so much that I have lots of good points on it. And here's the second batch of thumbs up. The dye base paints are super pigmented that earlier, while I was swatching, I didn't have to use a lot of paints. I was actually just using the very tip of the brush to grab some paint and it really goes a long way. The paints are so fluid like ink, so it's very easy to blend, mix, and work with. Analinky is also transparent watercolor, so it is perfect for glazing, if that's your art technique. The colors are so intense that I see a lot of potential in using these on different applications like cloths or canvas, to name a few. I love that these paints remain vibrant even after it dries on paper and that it has a special color which is the sparkly silver color. I do have two thumbs down for it but it's more like a thumbs up and down. First is, if your art style involves lifting paint or reactivating the paint to remove some of it from the paper, you may have a bit of challenge doing this. Because these paints are dye based so it seeps through the paper just like inks. Brushing off mistakes can also be difficult. As for the second one, this is more of a thumbs up and down. It's because the paints are very much packed with pigments, so colors are so intense that some of them appear to be a very deep dark color than it really is, while some of them look like it's black. This makes it hard for you to distinguish which color is which, so you should always have a swatch sheet with you as a reminder of how the color looks like on paper. For my overall verdict, Ko Inur Analinky is an affordable yet very high quality watercolor set that works whether you're a beginner, advanced or pro. You won't go wrong with this one and you won't be sorry if you get this set because it delivers everything that it promises and much more. This is a perfect addition to my collection and I recommend you add it to yours as well. So, that's it for today's episode and if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now guys.